What's good everyone, welcome to the channel. Anyone who knows me knows that I love spicy stuff and this is supposedly a hellish spicy yakisoba. It's actually called Goku Gekikara, which is hell really spicy, like super spicy. I first learned about this product because I was watching Japanese TV and they were actually taking this yakisoba around the world to places like Jamaica and Thailand, places that are pretty famous for spicy food and having people on the street try it and just watching them sweat and just give up eating it because even though they're used to spicy food, this is apparently a little too much. Let's see if I can give it a go. Doesn't look like much. It looks like a yakisoba sauce with some layu or basically chili oil mixed into it, which may be what it actually is. I don't know. Make a mess. Mix it in there nice and good. There's definitely a powerful odor coming off of this. It smells not unlike when you open a bottle of hot sauce. Okay, let's see if I can indeed be stronger than the people of Jamaica and Thailand and the other places that they went. Itadakimasu. It's really peppery, like... It's not like a sauce that grows on you. It's something that hits you right away with a really strong black pepper kind of taste. So it doesn't taste like most hot sauces because that's, it's not, I don't think it's gonna heat from like cayenne or something or habanero or whatever. It's very peppery. I'm actually not going to slurp these noodles now. Slurping them from the very beginning was maybe a mistake because that takes it directly kind of into the back of your mouth and throat. So <clears throat> that probably wasn't the best idea. So I'm just going to kind of eat them without the Japanese slurping style. Yeah, my whole mouth is pretty much on fire right now, but it's not anything terribly ridiculous. Um, I, as I mentioned, I really like spicy hot sauces. And like, it's a little hard to talk because my saliva is really just like pouring into my mouth right now because my mouth is definitely reacting to this heat. But I don't know. I mean, I eat, like if you're familiar with the death sauces, I eat sudden death a lot. And that's like, I don't know, that's like 80 to 90,000 Scoville or something like that. And I eat that just regularly, so it's just not so bad. <clears throat> I'm going to do this without cuts so I can prove that I ate everything and didn't like throw some in the trash because I made a cut in the video. It's actually quite good. I'd probably buy this again. You know, I kind of bought it because I thought it would be an interesting video to make. And like I said, I love spicy food, but it's actually kind of tasty. Tell you what, 
on the TV show, either they selectively chose the people that they showed on camera as finding it too spicy, <clears throat> or they asked them to overreact for the camera, or maybe they just happened to find some people who don't like spicy food as much, I don't know. but Or the other possibility is this is a really like front and center pepper taste off the start, which it doesn't taste like Thai food or any Jamaican food I've ever had. So maybe the fact that it's a very different kind of spice in the way it hits your mouth, that might be a difference as well. Eyes are starting to water, so it does build. It's actually worse in the vegetable parts at the end, like the dried veggies that they put in. The sauce is kind of stuck stronger to that than to the noodles. There we have it. Gekikara, Goku, Gekikara, Gosisame de Sta. Whew! Is my face red? Who knows? But my mouth sure feels like it's red. Damn. Alright. Hope you enjoyed the video. Uh, you might be able to find this on Amazon. I bought it from Amazon Japan, so it might exist in Amazon or somewhere where you live. If you want to try something spicy and cool. Other YouTubers have done this, but Japanese YouTubers, but I don't know that I've seen anyone do it uh, in English speaking YouTube, so maybe I'm the first, but it was good. My nose is running. Ooh. Sorry, now I'm a mess. I'm going to go clean up. Thanks for watching this video, and maybe I'll put an extra cut at the end after I've cleaned up a little bit to let you know how the spice is still going. So, be right back. Ooh. If you have a cold, good for clearing your sinuses, for sure. This is a lingerer, for sure. It's a couple minutes, I, I cut a couple minutes out there, I'm back, and yeah, it's not really going away. So this one lingers, so just be warned of that. Don't uh, eat this right before you have a meeting at work, <laughs> because you might be kind of drooling and snotting while your meeting's going on, but yeah, I mean, it's bearable to eat, and it's bearable to take, for me at least, you know, this aftermath, but it's gonna, it's definitely lasting a bit, so. If there's no more updates after this, assume that I survived and that nothing else interesting happened. Thanks for watching this particular video, and I'll catch you next time. Peace.